Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about how to enable all the hidden features that you can encounter in Windows 11, the latest build for the Canary channel, which is the build 25905. As a short reminder, maybe also for those of you who don't know, Microsoft is officially branding the latest build from the Canary channel and also the builds that will follow as the version 23H2. So a lot of these features that we're talking about in these videos in which I show you how to enable them will be in Windows 11 version 23. 3H2. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable a few hidden features that I think are pretty useful and pretty interesting. And if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, as always, we're going to have to set up Vive Tool on our computer, which is basically a tool that allows us to enable features that are slowly rolling out or tested by Microsoft behind the scenes and not every user gets them by default. And you're going to have the link for Vive tool in the article below in the video description. Make sure to download the latest version.zip and then you can open it up using the file explorer and then click on extract all, click on browse and extract it into the system32 location in this PC, local disk C, Windows and then scroll down to system32, select folder, extract. I'm gonna have to replace the files in my case and then click on continue to set up Vive tool. It's as easy as that. Now we're gonna have to open up the CMD, type in the search box CMD and then click on run as administrator. Now use your account control, click on yes. Here we're going to have to run a few commands that will enable certain hidden features and of course first of all I'm going to show you all the commands, what the commands do and then I'm going to show you the features that we've enabled. A huge shout out to Phantom Motion 3 on Twitter for providing all the IDs and commands on his Twitter. You're going to have his Twitter link in the pinned comment below if you want to follow him for more hidden features. And also all the commands that I'm going to run inside the CMD in this video will be listed in the article below in the video's description. The first command that we're running is this one. Copy and paste it, press enter and you should receive the message successfully set feature configuration. This is basically a redesigned and consistent Windows activation troubleshooting settings UI new dialog that was redesigned in Windows 11 as I've said in the second part of the video. I'm going to show you how each and every new feature that we enable looks. The next command is this one. As you can see it has five IDs and again you should receive the message successfully set feature configuration and this is basically the command and the IDs that will enable the dev drive features that are available in the latest build from the Canary channel. Next up, we have this command, which will enable the system app labels feature inside the start menu. Next up, we have this command, press enter. This command will basically introduce yet some new settings dialog redesigns. This will redesign the retail demo switching dialog. Next up, this command will enable the never combined taskbar icons or labels. The next command will enable the new search and hover feature from the dev channel. This command will enable the new setting inside the settings app, let search apps show results. I think this is pretty interesting. So after you run all these commands, just make sure to exit out from the CMD and restart your computer for the changes to take effect. Now let's see all the new things that we've enabled. First of all, we're going to go inside the settings app and we're going to see a few things that we've enabled. First of all, we're going to type in here troubleshoot and then troubleshoot activation. And here, in my case, I cannot troubleshoot the activation because I don't have any issues with it, but I'm going to show you on the screen a screenshot from Phantom Ocean 3 with the new redesign dialog. Also on the screen, you're going to have a screenshot of the new retail demo dialog redesign. And if we're going into privacy and security and then scroll down a bit to search permissions, you should notice a new option, let search apps show results. See search app results in Windows search results. You can turn it on or off. And also inside system and for developers, we can notice the dev drive settings you can create a new dev drive. This is very useful for developers. I'm not gonna go really in depth with it because I don't think a lot of users are interested in this, but basically you can create a virtual hard drive or attach one or create a dev drive optimized performance for developer scenarios. I think this is pretty useful. Now, if we're going into the start menu and then click on all apps, we should notice that certain apps are labeled as system inside the start menu. And I think this is also an interesting new addition. And the last features that we've enabled in this video, if we right click on the taskbar and then click on taskbar settings, first of all, we will notice this new section, choose how search appears on the taskbar. And below that, we're going to have open search on hover when available, you can turn this on or off. And basically when you hover over the search box, the search box will, should be opened when available. Next up, scrolling down to taskbar behaviors. And again, scrolling down, you should notice a few more options. Combine taskbar buttons and hide labels. And here you have three options, always when taskbar is full or 
never and as you can see we're getting the never combined taskbar icons also you can select show labels on taskbar app icons and basically this will show labels on all taskbar app icons even on those that are not currently open and also combine taskbar buttons and hide labels on other taskbars i think this is referring to other monitors you can again select always when taskbar is full or never and i think these new options that we can encounter in the canary channel are really useful and i'm pretty sure that all of these will be a part of windows 11 23 h2 which i think is pretty nice so this is basically it for this video i remind you you're going to have vive tool and also all the commands that are used in this video in the article below in the video description and if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one i was emmanuel from tech base until next time have a nice day